Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny if you're new and today we're gonna have ourselves a cozy fall clean with me. I really want to try out this slow cooker apple butter and I really want my house to smell like apple butter. So I'm gonna do that. Why don't you grab yourself a cozy beverage? I have my coffee right here. So I'm all ready as you can see for fall and we'll get some cleaning done. Starting here by peeling some apples because I want to get the apple butter going in the slow cooker while I'm cleaning. I really wanted the house to smell like apples and cinnamon and all the different spices that go into it. So this is the time when I would really need one of those gadgets that's like an apple core peeler slicer type gadget. That would be very helpful right now. But I don't have one of those so I'm just gonna quickly chop these up the best that I can and get them into the slow cooker. And if you happen to be new to my channel today, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Jenny and I'm a mom of three from Louisiana. And on my channel, I help you to clean your way to calm. For me, that just means having a tidy mostly decluttered space that we can enjoy our life in and that we can feel at peace in and my house is not always clean and it's definitely not always decluttered and sometimes I do better than other times but I do find that maintaining this to the best of my ability is very good for my mental health as I am managing anxiety and depression and we all really enjoy and benefit from having a clean space to make memories in. So having said all that, if that's of interest to you, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. I'd love to see you on a future video. So as you can see, I am just getting some other spices and ingredients into this slow cooker. The recipe for this slow cooker apple butter will be in my description box. And then we're just gonna let it work and make the house smell so good while we clean. I'm gonna take a minute and clean off my counters with the Caldrea spray, and that way when I unload my dishwasher, I'll be unloading onto a clean surface. Now you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the very end of this video today because I have a really special thing planned. I'm calling it subscriber shout out. And I really want to personally thank one of my subscribers at the end of my video. And I'd like to make a habit of that and maybe do it once a week where I can just personally look you in the eyes as best as I can on camera and just personally thank you for subscribing to my channel and supporting my channel. So stay tuned for that at the end. You never know if it's gonna be you. Now that the dishes are all unloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and load these up from the sink real quick and get this dishwasher running. I'm gonna go ahead and hand wash this pan with the Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice Dish Soap. I'm definitely loving all the fall scents this year. Let me know in the comments which ones you have chosen if you're doing that and which ones you're loving right now. Make sure you head over to Instagram and follow me. I'm at Jenny Teal, and I've been posting pretty regularly over there. I try to post every day, and you'll get a lot more personal content about my life and my family, also channel updates and little behind the scenes, sneak peeks and things like that. So go ahead over there and give me a follow. My two older kids started school this week, so we have been trying to get into a new routine. They're going partly to school in person and then partly at home online. So it's been an adjustment. We definitely need to keep track of their schedule. So that's gonna take a little getting used to, and of course they have to wear masks and things like that. So it's definitely been a strange back to school season for everyone. Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. I know it's really stressful. I know I feel a bit stressed about it too. So let me know how you're doing and how you're managing it and just how you feel about everything right now. Do you feel good about the systems that are put in place or do you wish that things were a little bit different with how your school district is doing? 
I know both my kids were very much looking forward to going back to school and being with their friends and not just being at home all day. So I am very happy for them that they get to do that, but of course as a mom, I do worry. But I know we're doing everything that we possibly can to keep them safe, and that's all you can really ask for. The rest we just have to give over to God, say a prayer, and try to feel that peace and know that we're doing everything we can, but ultimately we just have to let go and trust that they will be okay and that they're in good hands. And now I'm just spraying down my kitchen counters with that same Caldrea spray. All of my dishes are put away and I just wanna get the surfaces all cleaned off before I polish the appliances. Just to let you guys know, I do now have an Amazon storefront, and I'll link it in my description box, but you can now shop my home, so if you see anything you like, if there's an Amazon link for it, then I will definitely have that included in there. This is just Dawn dish soap and water and vinegar, and I'm gonna spray down my microwave and just let it sit while I polish the appliances. That'll make cleaning very easy. And this is when things started to get a little bit crazy. So my son really wanted me to hold him. That's my youngest, Alex. And then my older son, Nathan, comes in with a bloody nose. So then the little one wants a banana. So I'm sending him off with his banana, and I'm getting back to work here. I've got my Wyman stainless steel wipes. And that's when I thought everything was over and we were done with the kids coming through. But then he came through again and he said that his nose was still bleeding. And at this point, it had only been a couple of minutes, so I definitely wasn't worried yet. So I kept cleaning my kitchen, but that by the time I was done cleaning my kitchen, I went and found him to check on him and his nose was still bleeding. And at that point, it was definitely a good 15, 20 minutes. So we decided to take him to urgent care and get it looked at. So there's a break in my cleaning where you'll see me finish cleaning my kitchen and then when I come back to finish cleaning the house, it's going to be dark. So we took him to urgent care, he's perfectly fine. He didn't need to get it packed or cauterized or anything. It was like one of those where they said that he had swollen uh, nasal vessels or something like that, passages. And so he really just needed some uh, nasal mist and then they actually put him on an allergy medicine. So we're hoping that the daily allergy medicine will keep everything from being so inflamed and then he won't be so prone to the nosebleeds. So thankfully it was a very easy solution. We were there for a few hours. You know, it's never a quick thing to go to urgent care or ER. So I'm just really grateful that um, it was an easy fix and that he's doing really well now, you know, not having any problems with it. And as you can see, I'm just wiping off all of this food that's in the microwave so, so easily because the vinegar breaks it all down and just makes it so easy to clean. For my cooktop, I'm going to use Barkeeper's Friend and a scrubbing sponge and just work on it really well because I did have some stuck on things on there that I really wanted to get off. While I'm cleaning this, I wanted to tell you guys that I do have a second channel. It's called Jenny and Tony and it's about my husband and I's adventures together as an interabled couple. So he's a wheelchair user and I am not, obviously. And so um, we started a channel just for that kind of content and all our little adventures. So if that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to that channel and I will have it linked in my description box. And I'm just continuing on here polishing the stove and I'll also polish the microwave. I still have hope I'm waiting
of the glass on the oven door, I'm going back to my vinegar solution spray, and I find that works really well on glass. And now that the kitchen is clean, I'm gonna give it a quick sweep, and then I'm gonna get out my light and easy steam mop, which I absolutely love, and steam clean these floors, because I find that that works best for the kitchen and bathroom. The kitchen, because there's melted on stains and liquid stains and things that are just splattered on the floor, and I find that the steam really gets that up really well. And in the bathroom, obviously, because of germs. So I really love this steam mop. It works really well. And for the floor cleaner, I'm using the Method Floor Cleaner in the Lemon Ginger Scent. I didn't think I could love any scent as much as the Method Floor Cleaner in the Spearmint Sage, but I actually love the Lemon Ginger every bit as much. It just took some time, now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that Heading into the family room here, I'm going to straighten up the sofa, get all the cushions fixed, the pillows fluffed and the throws looking nice again and if it looks like I'm wandering around aimlessly at some point it's because I could not find the second pillow that goes on the left so I was looking everywhere for it and it turns out it was behind the sofa between the window and the sofa but as you can see on the video I couldn't figure that out so I was kind of looking all around I did look in the back in several of the rooms and I didn't find it so I gave up, but the next morning I ended up finding it behind the sofa. So as you can see, I'm using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in the apple cider scent. Have to stick with my fall scents today because I really want that cozy fall vibe in the house. So these smell so, so good. And I think the apple cider might be my favorite. Now for this high chair. My youngest Alex likes to eat snacks in here and watch his cartoons. So I know you guys have seen me clean Cheerios off this floor probably a hundred times. So that's what I'm doing right now, getting all that cleaned up and get the high chair wiped off. Let me know in the comments if you have any kids that are of the age that they are in a high chair and how many times per day you clean that high chair because if you're anything like me, you are cleaning that high chair pretty much all day long, plus all the things that fall on the floor. So let me know if you understand what I'm talking about. My heart is open. It just took some time. Now I just hope that you stay for a Okay, we are now back from urgent care and the apple butter is all done, and as you can see, it reduced to a very, very small amount. I started with an entire bag of apples, and now I'm just pureeing it with a stick blender, and it is very concentrated. And so I'm putting it in these little mini mason jars so that I can share with my friends and family. It came out so delicious. The flavors are perfect. I definitely recommend this recipe. And by the way, the house smells amazing, just like I wanted it to. So I was really, really pleased with this recipe. Moving on into the dining room, we have this little play area for Alex and we have baby gates set up so that it's kind of a makeshift playroom but it's essentially in the middle of our dining room. So I'm cleaning that part up really quick and then I am racing against the clock to just clean all the furniture in this room before I have to go pick up my husband from work. Normally, I do pick all this up off the table. You guys know that when I clean, I actually take things off the table to clean and this is definitely an exception. I'm just kind of cleaning around everything and going as quickly as I can because done is better than perfect. And I do not subscribe to perfectionism. I do not think that that's realistic. I think that we do the best we can and that's good enough. Hey friends, I'm all done cleaning. And as you heard on the voiceover, we did have an unexpected event happen during filming. It's time to go pick up my husband from work. So I've gotta get out of here, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. And I wanna do something a little different. I'm calling it subscriber shout out. I just wanna personally thank 
a subscriber at the end of my videos. And that's just my little way of getting to look at you face to face as close as we can with cameras and just say thank you for your support. So today's subscriber shout out is Mary Doyle. Mary, thank you so much for your support of my channel. You are one of my top supporters and I am so grateful for you and your comments always make me smile and they encourage me. So I just wanna thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, and just for being a great friend. I met you here and I'm grateful that I know you now. And thank you also for your support of our other channel, Jenny and Tony. We love getting to talk to you over there as well as over here and feel like we're getting to know you even more. So Mary from Scotland, Mary Doyle, Thank you so much for subscribing and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, Mary. And to the rest of you watching, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure and hit that red subscribe button on your way out today so I get to see you again on the next video. You all have a wonderful day. Bye guys.